Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Turner Warped, episode number six, part number three. Welcome back. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to give all these wonderful people a follow. Uh, they all deserve it, and uh, you should totally do that right Except now. Except Peachy. Except Peachy, absolutely. Yeah, probably not Peachy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the hatred is you real. Know, yeah. you know, I, do, I do six roleplay shows a week. Wow. You'd think on one of those shows, like, someone wouldn't shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're just so shit honorable, though. It's just yeah. part of your persona. I'm really right? nice. It's you like need... you're born with this big kick me sign on your forehead. Yeah, you need to n stop wearing the t shirts with toilets on them. That would be good. That'd be good. You need to stop wearing the fucking what? pink beanies. The it it's just rage inducing. No. It's like, a, it's like a red rag to a bull. It's a pink rag to an asshole. Yeah, know? did you ever see that episode of Scrubs where the janitor switched uh, to the to the blue Scrubs, or to the uh, blue janitor outfit? And and they, he did the orange one as well. See, orange is rage-inducing. See, I recommended the orange tie to Ted. Bam! Everybody just started hitting him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just like that. All right, so welcome back, everybody. Uh, you guys uh, disembark from the ship. And uh, you head out into this um, strange uh, group of uh, alien people. Uh, lots of aliens that you haven't seen before. Um, and uh, you get you see some... Lunk, Lunk is rubbernecking like fuck. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, definitely a, it's definitely a sight to behold, for sure. Um, and uh, you guys uh, can see, like, all these different uh, workers and stuff running around... Uh, you can see lots of, uh, lots of ships, like, taken off from different hangars. Um, it's, it's pretty, like, low-key, um, but there, there's a decent amount of people here for how low-key it is, you know what I mean? Like, these hangars are built into the side of an asteroid in the middle of nowhere, and, yeah. um, uh, there's, there's a decent amount of people sort of walking it, around. Is there, like, a bar here, potentially? Uh, you or would definitely see, like, some signs, like, scrawled on the wall. Probably like, um, like white paint, like scrawled onto the onto this like half rock, like half metal wall, um, where uh, it's just like uh, it's just written like in in big letters, like scrawled. You can see like paint drips coming down from it, like uh, pub and like arrow. I see that. I just walk in that direction. Okay, you immediately start. Uh, Felix. Ah, oh, yes, Arthur. Maybe we should earn some money before you start spending it. Oh, well, oh, good idea. Okay, let's do that. And do, I'm not adverse to the odd tipple. Just I've got three credits. Whoa. Uh, Lunk got, uh, five zero credits. Uh, some credits for Lunk. All right, let's go sell the ship first, and then we'll go celebrate. I'm sure it'd be really easy, and we'll get a good price. Yeah. Okay. Yeah! I, okay. So I you, think that too. We, we just go to Mans, and we go, we got ship, we want monies, and they give us lots of monies. Yeah. Simple. So you guys uh, can see uh, Captain Donovan... Uh, sort of like meeting up with uh, this like um, uh, red skin Borean, uh, similar to similar to Arthur, but without the red beard. Sort of has like this uh, like wicked set of uh, mutton chops that just sort of like like shoot out from the side. Like they're all like he's got like all these like curls and stuff like uh, coming out from the. Mutton Is he chops. Like, does he look like he's entered some sort of mutton chop competition? You know, sort of like. Uh no, they're like maybe like, but they're not like the one long mutton chop. They're just sort of like lots of like little curls that are sort of like curled up, uh, a bit scraggly, covered in grease as per standard with every Borean that you see, um, and um, yeah, she's uh, she sort of looks like she's talking uh, friendly to this guy, and uh, she sort of slaps him on the shoulder and she's pointing at him, and uh, he he holds up like uh, he holds up this spanner, um, and he's pointing to the ship and she's like no 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 listen I'm good I'm good 
Don't worry about it, Henry. I told you. It's okay. We're, we're going to sell this. You don't have to repair it. I need to meet up with Remy. Don't touch the ship. I'm not paying for a damn thing. We're going to sell this to Remy. No. No. Don't. Don't take any panels off. None of them. <laughs> Leave them. <laughs> Leave the panels. I don't Fucking want any of the panels off. <laughs> no. Look, Re Henry. Leave. Just, just get out of here now. Okay? I, I want to make sure you're not near the ship. No. No panels. None. You, you want me to make him go away? I, I got it, Lunk. I got it. Okay. Henry. Dad. Henry. I have, I have a bit of news for you. I have a bit of news for you. Look. Look. What I heard was there was a brand spanking new ship down at the end of the docks. It hasn't been modified at all. I know, I know, you need to go take a look at it right now. I, I, I like to think that Arthur's ears sort of prick up a little bit when she says not modified at all. <laughs> and uh, he starts like, this guy starts like hauling ass. Like he's just like booking it down like his little boring legs are taken off. I think Arthur takes a couple of reflexive steps after him before he's like, no. <laughs> right, job, got a job to do. I, as he runs off, I shout to him in Borean. By the way, there's no actual panels on the rear engines there on the starboard. <laughs> starboard is not rear, but that's fine. I don't know <laughs> what any of this shit means. I have a chart that gave you a handout. <laughs> there's a handle. There's a, the handout you that says. So totally did. I did. That's a lot of words, whack. <laughs> You oh, wait, just to read this shit? I'll draw Where's a picture in crayon next time, okay? Thank that you. Would work. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> All right. So, um, Captain Cal Donovan sort of like dusts her, uh, dusts her pants off. And she gives like a good stretch. Oh, God. That was a hell of a trip. How are you guys doing? Ah, uh, doing good. Did you say that I'm unmodified? <laughs> uh, Cam, do you know if there's anywhere around here that I might be able to purchase some medical supplies? I'm specifically thinking of getting another medical pouch. Uh, well, they might have some medical supplies. I mean, I got to be honest with you. This is a, uh, well, for all intents and purposes, it's a scrap yard. Uh. De, de, sh, but the de, de, de health and safety thing, they, 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 lots of injuries, and they should have the, the first aid kits and the stuff because, like, there are lots of jagged metal and sparky things and heavy things. Right. I'm pretty sure they got a few band aids, but I got to be honest with you, Lunk, they don't really give a shit. That's, that's, that's against the, the galactic thingy, like health and safety law thing. Have you uh, noticed got... where we are yet, Lunk? <laughs> we so on a hypo spray one. might not be in our future, but I am keeping an eye out for medical pouches if anyone happens to come across. But the the, the regulations say that every work site should have a medical facility where the people who get hurt can get patched up. Because Lunk. the can I feel the heat yeah. radiating off Lunk's brain right now? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, probably made to memorize this when she worked in like a, a, a bar or something. It's like you have to memorize the health and safety, and it's just like you know, she had an audio tape of it, so you know she listened to when she slept. <laughs> um, yeah, the last audio tape in the galaxy. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, Captain Donovan just kind of looks at you and she says. Lunk. Yeah? This is not a part of the Galactic Alliance. They don't give a flying fuck about the Galactic Alliance. We're about as far from the Galactic Alliance as we're gonna get. Oh! Okay. 
Right. Anyway, uh, let's head this way. Uh, Remy's workshop is, uh, well, he's, he's about, uh, he's about nine, uh, he's about nine hangers down, and, uh, he's gonna be, uh, the door on the left. Uh, come on. Let's go. Oh, and good idea, try not to talk to anybody. They're already giving you guys the eye. Everybody roll me perception. Uh. Hawk's got to upgrade his, his visual receptors. Uh, all right, there we go, 3d6. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, uh, so Felix and Felix and Glix, you are the only ones who notice uh, that you are definitely getting like the stink eye from lots of different aliens throughout this whole uh, throughout this whole deck, basically of this uh, of this space yard. Um, the they're definitely sizing you up for sure. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, guys, we might want to yeah stick in a, a tight formation here. We're definitely uh, we don't seem to be welcome here by the uh, by the looks of it. If anybody gives us the trouble, I will smash them. Yeah, you let, let's stick together, Lunk. <clears throat> yeah, I look Thanks. after you, Squishy, and you, Arta. Yeah. And I, I, I'd, I'd probably say when. Uh... And you, Flippy. Look up. Well, when I notice that people are starting to glare at us, I, I kind of like unbutton my uh, the the vest I guess I have on and just kind of like let the the massive uh, blaster pistol that I have, which is probably glistening because it's been upgraded, just like just hang off my hip. I'm like, okay, you can give us looks, but you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go through this thing. Okay. Um. So, uh, you guys start to walk down the the corridor. Um, as uh, Captain Cal Donovan uh, leads the way. She's just kind of like nodding to uh, the occasional alien here or there. And uh, she says, Oh, watch out. We got a little bit of coolant. Oh, uh, hey, uh, move on, Felix. Uh, just scooch over a little bit. Uh, that does not look safe. Let's keep moving. Um, huh, it should not be leaking that much coolant. Uh, Arthur, be all right with a bit of duct tape. Just as you what say that, like, happens? just like as you say that, Arthur, you see like, <laughs> like this huge amount of coolant shoot out from like uh, one of the engines of the ship. It'll be fine. Our ship will their ship. People worry too so much about coolant these days. Oh, it's it's not your ship. You're passing oh. like a bunch of hangars, like as you're as you're walking down this corridor. It's basically what like a long haul. What does coolant hallway. do? Keeps things cool. You know, it's a suggestion. Okay. Um, uh, eventually you come to uh, the ninth ninth hangar deck. There's a ton of people that are sort of like milling about. Um, there's one like gruff looking Spartan um, that is uh, in front of this door. Um, above the door you can see uh, uh, just Remy's place. Um, the Spartan, uh, has, like, a, a pretty serious-looking, like, uh, uh, like, pulse cannon. It's basically the size of, like, it's basically, like, the size of, like, the fucking, uh, minigun oh, that Arnold Schwarzenegger uses, like, in, in fucking, uh, Terminator 2. Except this, this big Spartan has, like, this gun just, like, hefted between, in, uh, between his hands. It's got like these. You can see like it's got these like uh, tubes running through it with like this green like pulsating liquid. Hmm. And this guy is this guy dressed basically like uh, wearing like a uh, like a heavy coat um, that sort of goes down. It's like looks like a duster coat almost, like going down to uh, going down to like his calves basically. Um, looks like a like a heavy Kevlar kind of coat. So a bit like mine, only with sleeves then. Yeah, yeah, and like the so, duster part, he's got like the little you know the flappy thing on the top. 
I'm uh, I'm pretty tight-lipped, gripping my uh, pistol and sticking real close to, to Lunk's side here. Not liking the looks of anything. So Captain yeah. Cal, like, walks up. And uh, she just kind of, like, looks at him for a second. And she glares. And she says, What the hell are you doing here? I am here... Guard Remy. Remy's hiring the likes of you? Well, Remy must be getting stupid. <sighs> Don't you growl at me, you big, ugly, yellow piece of shit. And he says... I'm gonna hide behind Hawk. I I I'm gonna loom slightly. I'm leaning into Lunk here. Yeah, I've already, like, stepped slightly in front of, uh, Squishy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, she says, uh, Are you looking at me funny? That is because you are funny. <laughs> well, she did tell the funny joke the other day, and I laughed a lot. It was a good one. It was about a Venetian and, 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 and I forgot the rest of it. They both just kind of look at you for a second. I remember it later. Huh, huh, if I need them. Captain Cal quickly grabs her pistol and aims it at this guy. He quickly <laughs> turns his pulse cannon towards her. And she says, bang, you're dead. <laughs> and she, she like, uh, she punches him in the shoulder. And he goes, ah, ha, ha, yeah, I would have your. <laughs> I am terrified of what this situation in front of me right now. Yeah, my, my attention is not eased. Yeah. My People gun. People laughing, I'm laughing too. My gun is much bigger. She said, Now, Stinky, isn't that just the stupidest thing I ever heard? Haven't you ever heard? It's not the size of the gun. It's how you use it. Is this some kind of human Spartan interspecies mating dance? What? Do you not understand no, what? this is Stinky. And she says, uh, Hey, Stinky. Why don't you give him the proper Spartan welcome? Yeah. I'm okay, thank you very much. I'm just kidding, Stinky. None of them need to get shot. All right, let's, uh, why, why? <laughs> what do you mean shot? It's I fine. got shot once. Hurt a bit. Look, it's fine. It's just a Spartan thing. That's what they like to do. They like to hurt each other. Look, Stinky, I need to talk to Remy. Yeah, Remy inside. Well, yeah, I would assume so. It's his workshop. Ooh, he may be busy. I check. Oh, come on, Stinky. Don't go through the whole rigmarole. We know he's in there. We gotta sell him a ship. <sighs> you bring ship? Yeah, we got a good one for him. <sighs> All right. I let you in, but no trouble, Captain. All right, all right. Stinky, you know me for years. I only shot you a couple times. Come on, let's go. Mm, very well. And he sort of, like, heads into, uh, towards the door. Um, he enters, like, a code in on the, on the, uh, the pad. And, uh, you hear a... Rami... And Donovan is here. And you hear this. Aw, oh, hell. What the hell does she want, Stinky? Oh, come on, Remy. Just let me in the goddamn shop. I got a ship for you. <laughs> All right. Just, well, just let her in. Uh, Stinky hits the panel buttons a few times. Door opens. 
Door opens. You guys are immediately greeted by the smell of, uh, uh, like, engine oil. And uh, this is probably, like, Arthur's home away from home, and he didn't know it. Yeah. This smells to Arthur what the stew smelled to, like, to Felix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You smell like Arthur. There's just shit everywhere all over the whole workshop. It, there's tons of various, like, little parts and things. All over the mm. place. It smells like Vaseline and good times. And Don't it's... take that the wrong way. Learn that the odd way. What? Take what? I don't understand. Look, nope. I'm no, no, take me anything from workshop. I should. What? I should. You take thing from workshop. It, uh, with that, I, pr I probably like what? put something back as he <laughs> as he says that he probably, he probably like heard me or something like that as I was walking through it. Walking clink, in. clink. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, what's the never mind. Aww. Ah, hello, Captain Cal. How you doing? It's been a while. What are you doing here? Oh, look, Remy, don't give me that shit. You know you're happy to see me. Every time I come, I got something for you. <sighs> All right, Cal. What can I do you for? So looking at this guy, he's uh, he's got a, um, a leather apron on. Uh, he's got a... He's quite clearly has one, uh, like, um, robotic hand um, that looks... He's got, like, he's got, like, a... Um, he's got, like, a... Uh, uh, not overalls. Uh, jumpsuit. He's got like a uh, like a jumpsuit on underneath his uh, leather apron, um, and it's covering up the rest. But you can see at least he's got at least like a robot hand. Like he's got a he's got a, a cybernetics, and uh, you can see like on his hand itself, like his fingers can like uh, they turn into like different uh, kinds of tools. Like one is a screwdriver. He's like Inspector Gadget almost. Like he's got like his, you know, um, and uh, he says. Oh, good. You got a ship for me. What kind of ship you got? Well, this one uh, you're probably going to want to use for scrap. I wanted to talk to you, uh, well, about, uh, well, it, it, look, it's a, it's an old Brecca class transport. I'm sure you could find a use for it. I mean, they're everywhere. And what's wrong with it, Cal? Well, it, nothing's wrong with it per se. It's uh, it's just a little uh, what is it, Cal? Is it stolen? A little bit. It's a little stolen. Yeah, you could you could say that it's a little stolen. From They're who? dead, though. Well, that's that's lucky for you, I'm guessing. Uh, Cal, who from? Uh, it, does that really matter? I mean, look, it's, it's no big deal either way, Remy. I mean, if you're just gonna break down for spare parts. Cal, who's it from? <laughs> what? No, Watt's not here. No, Cal, I said what, as in, what did you say? Oh, it, it's, it's, uh, Bloody Nine? Cal, what the hell am I supposed to do with a Bloody Nine ship? I told you, you can take it apart for spare parts. <sighs> Cal, are you serious? You want me to deal with a Bloody Nine ship? Look, they're all dead. They don't know we'd have it. Can't you file the number things off the bits? Well, there would be electronic traces uh, that would identify the ship, though, Monk. So oh. I think I think they're gonna have to go a little deeper than that. <laughs> I don't even know where she's finding funny anymore. Hmm. Sorry, I remembered the, the thing with twiggle, swiggle tracks. 
Uh, yeah, let's not remember Swiggle Tracks. No, I'm remembering about Swiggle Tracks. He definitely went deeper. Uh, uh, I've never uh, seen so many penis. Peni? I what think they're hemi penis. No, they were like it? they were like four hemi peni. But could we just a gaggle of forget about that? There were a gaggle. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, the Spartan, a uh, stinky, sort of pipes up and he says, uh, "A gurgle of peni." <laughs> I don't uh, think you're supposed to gargle, are you? I, I got. <laughs> told off for that once. Anyway. <laughs> Does anyone know a good therapist? <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, it's a little bit stolen from Bloody Nine. They're all dead, though, so you wouldn't have to worry about it. I mean, you could you could sell this easy. No, I could sell a parts, Cal. I think you know a little bit better than most how difficult these kinds of things are going to sell. You know I'm going to have to lower the price on that. Oh, come Ooh. on, Remy. Ooh. We should go back to Galilee. At least we'll get a fair deal. <laughs> yeah, why don't you take it back to Galilee? Sure. Uh, uh well, uh... She sort of, like, leans towards you, Felix, and just kind of, like, under her breath, she says, Look, drop Galilee for now. I know you got a friend, but trust me. You best not screw us. Look, Remy, I hate to use this, but I think now is a good opportunity to uh, call in my marker. Aw, oh, hell, Cal, you're not going to use the marker here. Well, look, Remy, I, you know, I need the money. I, I got me a new ship. It's costing me out the ass. I mean, do you think I'd be doing anything with this crew if, I mean, uh, if, if, uh, you know what's <laughs> good, you'll know that this is a top quality ship to get parts from. That was a good save. Look, look, Cal. Um, Cal. The most I can do here, the most I can do here, is four million credits. Oh, Captain, I'll give you five million credits. You're going to give me five million credits? Six Where? million! I do the eye wink thing. <laughs> it just... Uh, I, one, two, three, four, uh, eight million. So give me deception rolls, Arthur, Lunk, and, um, and, uh, Hawk, please. I don't have emotions to betray what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, deception, uh, yeah, but you did eye the... wink. <laughs> what, 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 yeah, what, I'm not so good at these what things. Attribute is that char? It'd be charisma, yes. Oh God! Okay, so two, yeah, two d six. <laughs> I'm considering. Uh, I'm, Ooh, I'm do we have luck them. dice back? Ooh! You do have luck dice, yes. Mm. Seven. That's not awful. Even nine isn't enough. How about ten? I want to roll as uh, well. No, you cannot use one at a time. You have to declare how many you'd like to use. You can't I will use two. Okay. Do you mind if I roll as well? <sighs> uh, yes, I do actually. They were the only ones that kind of piped in. Sure. Okay. So, uh, Remy One goes... One of dice was a sex. It's exploding. <laughs> right? Yeah, that's actually true. That was the luck die. You can go ahead and roll that again. Ooh. Remember, I told you guys, if you roll luck die, please roll them separately. I did, yes. Okay. Truth is 13. Okay, so uh, Remy just kind of looks at uh, looks at you guys, and he says, "Cal, come on, couldn't you do any better than this?" 
They're learning. Look, come on, Remy. Four million credits ain't shit. I I, I step forward at this point and and I start. You know, I'm wanting to negotiate. I have I am we 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 were given to understand this ship was was closer to at least five million worth in parts. Um, at the at the bare minimum. So I'm I'm trying to negotiate something here as best I can. Uh, sure. And Captain Cal says, uh, and and Remy, they were interested in maybe looking at some of your ships. Right. So, you know, we're we're talking a trade in here at this point. So, I mean, I, basically, I mean, give it I yourself money at this point. Uh, so go ahead and give me a negotiating skill, please. Uh, I'm going to toss uh, some luck in there, but that's separate, right? So I'm going to roll. Yeah, you can, if you, uh, and we found this out from Morris. Uh, I was, uh, Morris was kind enough to respond to uh, me asking him. Uh, Morris is the creator of uh, NEW, the Warrior RPG. Uh, I asked him, can you guys can bypass your maximum of 5d6 uh, by using luck die or uh, drugs or uh, exploits or stuff like that. So you can get past your 5d6. Uh, so, plus charisma for your negotiation rates. Negotiation. Yes, charisma plus negotiation. Oh. Uh, luck, ooh, five, 5d6. So yeah, if you want to roll a luck die, you can add that, but roll it separate. Okay. Um, I'm actually out of character. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to save the luck die for when we go to purchase. Because the purchase isn't happening yet, so I'm going to okay. roll this for now. Okay. So, um, he says, uh, okay, look, Cal, I'll take a look. If I think it's worth five million, we'll go with five million. See, Remy, this is what I'm talking about. This is a partnership. You and I and them, whatever, working together. And coming to a mutual understanding for a, an appropriate deal. Oh, cow, don't give me that load of bullshit. The only reason I'm even offering $5 million is because of the marker you're cashing in right now. Oh, hell, Remy, fine. All right, let's take a look at what you got, and uh, we'll go from there. And if you guys are going to buy a ship, that'll help. All right, come on, Remy. And uh, you guys head out of the shop and start heading back down towards your ship uh, that you that you salvaged from the Bloody Nine. Remy takes a look. Uh, he takes a glance over the ship, and he says, Oh, man, what the hell did you do to this thing? Oh, we didn't do shit, Remy. You know we didn't do shit. Those dumbasses in the Bloody Nine fucked this ship up real good. You're damn right. What kind of systems are those? You got a... Uh, huh. Does that... Is that... Is that a straight-up SA-1 antimatter engine? <laughs> they wish. So he just kind of looks at you. And uh, he says, Yeah, it is. He says, What does that push? FTL-5? Oh, well, Gordo got it up to an FTL-6. There was a little bit of a cooling problem, but... We got it up to an FTL-6. Yeah. If it helps, security's completely been bypassed. Give me a charisma check. Uh, do you have any kind of social skills? <laughs> at all? <aren't> <laughs> no, not uh, origami. I could make him a little crane. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> One wouldn't call that necessarily a social skill. That would probably be classified <laughs> under art. I'm just gonna. Uh, so give me a charisma check. Okay. Um, yeah, he just kind of looks at you and says, "Bypass the security." Well, I'm I'm sure you had to if you stole the ship. That's a plus. Good. I mean, we're gonna take it apart anyway. Also, there is quite a lot of pornography aboard that ship. 
<laughs> we'll throw that in. We'll throw that in. We'll throw that in. It no, is a little niche. <laughs> a little niche. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Well, that's good to know, I guess. Um, Cal, uh, where did you find these people? Look, they just came along with the mission. All right. We had to find somebody that was dumb enough to go down on this planet. And, um, anyway, um, so look, what what do you think? Can we make it five? I think we can do five, Remy. Well, superstructure's mostly intact. Who the hell took off all those panels? And he just kind of glances down at you, Arthur. No, no, no. The engines were mostly exposed when we found it. Uh, well, look. I... Uh, you're going to call in your marker. We'll call it five. But I want you guys to look at some of the ships I got. I'll give you a good we would, deal. We would love to look at some of the ships. I mean, you know, they need work. We don't have state-of-the-art, ship-of-the-line type ships here. You know what I'm talking about? We're not Arthur's afraid of a little super work. Happy Arthur can handle a fair bit of work. Well, you that's good. just show us what you got. That's, that's good. good. Wait, we get a ship and I get to upgrade it? C can, can we get a one with a, a, a nice galley, please? Now, so that means, Cal, that we pull in five million from this. We deduct the 500,000. So are we talking 4.5 million here, Cal? We are, yeah. So dividing up between my crew and your crew... Uh, each of us looking at about, uh, we're looking at, uh, 450,000. Okay, so 450,000 per person. Is that plus or minus the thousand credits each that we were initially supposed to get for the mission? Oh, hell, are you squabbling over a... Yeah, fine, 400... I've got 52 credits to my name, you bet I'm squabbling. Well, now you're gonna have 452,000 credits, so shut your mouth. Oh, and I forgot the rover. So take away a thousand. Four hundred and fifty-one thousand. Then thank you, Cal. There. Are we straight now? Squabbling over We're straight a damn now. thousand credits. Stupid. All right. So, well, why don't you uh, transfer over the credits? We'll divide them up, and uh, they can take a look at a ship. All right, fair enough. So, uh, he pulls out like a he pulls out like basically the equivalent of an iPad kind of uh, device. Uh, looks like one of the one of the tablets from like Star Trek kind of thing. Like you know, he's got a data pad and he starts like putting in some numbers. He says, "All right," he says, uh, "Give me your." Uh, he's like, "Give me your, uh, give me your account chips." We'll start transferring over the money. Okay, here's mine. You can give me the rest. Um, hand over the rest here. All right. He starts transferring everything over. And you guys have accrued 451,000 credits. Adding to your other pile. Woohoo! Oh, are we going to spend all this on a ship now? Oh, well, we might be working it's out a mortgage situation. I mean, we're going to have to. There's no way we can buy a ship with that amount of money. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure doing business with you, Remy. And a pleasure doing business with the rest of you. Now, look. He's, she's like, uh, if you uh, ever want to give me a call, uh, she's like, uh, here's the uh, signal to reach the ship. You can hit us up uh, via, I'm sure, a subspace. That sound good? Sounds good, Cal. It's uh, it's been a pleasure. pleasure. Thank you, lady. She uh, walks over to Remy, gives him like a handshake. Now, Remy, she said, "Are we sure we have to call in that marker? I think five million. 
And he's like, yes, Cal, we got to call him the marker. He's like, that piece of shit is not worth five million credits. He's like, I'm giving you guys a primo deal on that. All fine. Pleasure doing business with you, Remy. Yeah, pleasure, Cal. Look, tell Watt I said hi, all right? Oh, I don't think you want... Fine, I'll, I'll let him know. Great. All right, well, I'll see you later. Starts to walk off. She says, Can you guys give me a call if you need anything. Okay. Say bye bye to uh, Tingy. I'll let Tishok know you said goodbye, Lunk. Ha <laughs> ha Bye. All right. Um, and Captain Cal Donovan walks out of your lives. Um, you guys can all add Captain Cal Donovan as a contact. Ooh. It's like I actually have nice. decent prep. No, it's still shitty. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Speaking of which, uh, no, they got 450,000 per person, Erber. Yeah, Erber. that's what I was going to say. Per, per person. Yeah, was... Per person. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you guys can all uh, uh, roll me rep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm if, not mad. If you have mm. bureaucracy or uh, accounting, you can add. <laughs> axes. Which I do. Can I use axes? Uh, can you tell us what we're, we're rolling for or no? Uh, I'm trying this, to decide on luck. This here. is this is to determine how yeah. much credit you have. Oh, how much borrowing power? Yes. Kind of wish I didn't. Yeah, I'm gonna save my luck for the actual now. negotiation on yeah. the price. Can we use a luck dice on this? You can. Yeah, I was gonna spend right. one luck dice as well. Splurge, people. <laughs> oh shit, son! Wow. Do oh. I re-roll that? Uh, no, that is not a that you didn't you didn't roll a. Was that your luck dice? Yeah, yeah, the six. I rolled a six, and then I rolled another six. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, Holy uh, shit, I, Fuzzy! I can't believe this. Fuzzy's Fuzzy rolling. Fuzzy. Holy oh, yeah. fuck! That's amazing. On fire. Fuzzy, Fuzzy is like a rock star this episode. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, Team okay. Rocks. Saving so, us the monies. So five. So you've got 17. Holy fuck. Yeah, 17. All right. Her. So where did we start here? Did Arthur was, did we start with Arthur's 2d6? That was a well uh, spent look, guys. Yeah, unless Glix has Fuzzy's oh. first crit there. Oh, the Fuzzy one. was the first. Okay. Okay, so, so Fuzzy got a seventeen. What so Felix I, get? I got the eight, and then I rolled my luck for a five. So, so another thirteen. Yep. And who's next? Hawk. You got a four. Did you? Uh, <laughs> okay. So Hawk got a four. Uh, all right. Yep. And Arthur got a seven. And Glix got a twelve. Okay. Any luck, Glix, or? No, I did not spend any luck on that one. That was bureaucracy. Luck. What you don't know is, yeah, sure Lux had you a don't credit want card. To. She's been keeping Just, up on her repayments. Very. <laughs> you, you seem very lucky today, Glix. Very, so, very lucky. I'm saving my luck die for uh, the actual buying the ship. This is so, what we're doing now. This your is your yeah. combined credit is going to allow you to purchase up to a $53 million ship. Okay. Yeah, the f credit, 53, 53 million credits, sorry. Um, Look, so. it's just like, I, I got a credit card. I, I was saving it for special. Is this special? It's probably standing like... Oh, no, but we yeah. had a $53 million ship. I mean that's decent. So, um, so uh, Remy starts to lead you around to some different hangars, and he says he's uh, he's basically like checking your credit score after you guys like give him the accounts and shit. Um, and he's like, hmm, well, you won't be able to afford much. He's like, but we probably got a few ships that are in your price range. Uh, well, let's see. We got a venture class. Uh, we got a venture class uh, vehicle. Uh, he's like, um, it's uh, 
I'm sorry. It's 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 a venture a venture uh, ship, a free trader. To reach uh, FTL six, takes two crew to pilot. Uh, you can notice in the back there, and he starts pointing out. In this ship, just so you know what it looks like, it's sort of like a. a it looks similar to a Millennium Falcon. It has like the uh, two parts that jet out in the front, um, and uh, the um, the uh, Instead of having like the cockpit off to the side, it's central. The uh, the cockpit is central in the in the uh, oh god the bow, and um, it is uh, basically it's it's it can uh, shoot off as like a shuttle. So like the front can detach as a as a shuttle um, for this, and uh, the. He points out the the large cargo compartments uh, on the back, uh, and no. Wait, have, have we mentioned a price on this? I'm sorry. No, he's going over okay. the different stuff with you first. Okay. And he says uh, this actually has been upgraded for quite a bit of cargo space. Uh, you got about three hundred, uh, about three hundred uh, square uh, square meters of cargo here. Uh, just like in game terms, it's 300 cargo units. So basically the way that the cargo units work out is certain uh, components for the ship cost cargo units, cert like fuel costs cargo units, stuff like that. Um, so it's a decent... He's got You've got two cargo compartments, uh, two basically like... Take like two rectangles and put them on the back of the Millennium Falcon. Um, and I'll actually bring you guys over here as Remy starts to walk you on to the venture. And let's bring the map over there for the people. Okay, so yes, um, so you guys can see in the back has uh, space for cargo containers, um, and you have yourself uh, a decent amount of uh, space for, you know, whatever, just general crew compartments and whatnot. Uh, you basically have, like, a spot for a uh, captain and an officer kind of uh, quarters and then you have general general quarters has four bunks in there we'll get on the ship boys um he says now the venture uh run you about 50 million she's like she's got uh two fire linked lasers two missile lost launchers and uh one uh one uh, under laser uh on the on the belly of the ship there what what the galley like? Can I see the galley? Well, you got a kind of basic galley uh, set up here. Uh, Are they man turrets or automatic turrets? Uh, the turrets themselves, uh, they are. Uh, well, basically, you got gunnery control uh, located uh, near the front of the ship. Tactical, you got tactical uh, control in the front of the ship. The, the turrets themselves are uh, are not manned. What kind of medical facility? Do we uh, have? Medical facility. Well, the uh, hang on. Let me open the document. Um, Lung's really concerned about the galley. Yeah, the ship has a really rudimentary galley. Um, mm. Let's see where was that. Lung is not happy about the galley. Yeah, uh, it's uh, basically here on the ship. Um, you basically have some like pretty basic galley controls, um, in, specifically in here, um, and in here you've got like washer dryer and like basic living shit. Uh, how how old is this ship? Uh, it's pretty old. Um, you can tell that the the, the Arthur. You can roll me a um, you can roll me an engineering and uh, logistics check. Mm. Uh. I can't go. Damn it. I could get a six on this. 17. That's logistics and engineering? You did logistics and engineering, right? Uh, yep. Okay. I, can, I can roll more if you want. I've got them. I just don't have... Oh, your engineering is that high, huh? Okay. Um, no. Uh, so, yeah, you would know that uh, the Venture uh, class... Uh, the Venture has... has been around like as a as a kind of ship for a while. This one's obviously been modified with those cargo comp uh, with those cargo bays. Um, 
but yeah, uh, it's it seems like it's pretty decent. Like you're getting a decent deal here. Uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty light. It's pretty fast. You got some weapons on it. It's pretty decent. Um, mm -hmm. It doesn't have Can a lot I... of. It does definitely does not what? have a lot of amenities for sure. What is the top speed? Yeah, can I, I pull sick. up the um, pull up the specs in the cockpit here? Can I get engineering up here? Sure, you're looking at an FTL six on this ship. Is that something I could get up to a seven? If I uh, yeah, if you if you use your engineer bullshit, yeah. I'm trying to school my expression because I'm pretty excited that um, I reckon I helped with the negotiation in the beginning, and I'm thinking I might be able to help again in lowering the price in this, and I'm. Very excited at the prospect of, of no mortgage. So I'm trying to to look cool, but I'm pretty excited. Oh, I mean, there's 100% going to be a mortgage. You guys you guys are paying with credit. <laughs> oh, you said... You guys Sorry, are paying with never. credit, not That's credits. Right. Right. Yep. Yeah. 53 million was the price he's asking for this? No, no. 53 it's, million was your that's credit the limit. Credit we have available that's, to that's your collective credit as a group. What was the price on the ship? Fifty million. Yeah. Um, and uh, he says, uh, "Yeah, you, you can get her up to FTL six. Uh, says, uh, I mean, <laughs> all, all in all, he says, uh, I think this is a really. It, it, I mean, it, I got to be honest, it's a bare bones kind of ship, and she's definitely seen some wear and tear. Uh, he sort of like uh, walks over to a panel, but uh, she's a good one. She's a good one." So just out of character quickly, earlier um, when we were talking about the the price of the ship that we had sold earlier, if that was in perfect shape, that was worth $50 million, is what was said. That was about what Kip... Yeah, you get a brand new BRECA class uh, transport, yeah. yeah, you're looking about $50 million. Okay. Mm. Remy, I don't know if this is quite worth what you're appraising it at. I mean, I've been around ships almost my whole life. I, Fifty million for this? Yeah, this God. not even got second oven. It it just got small toaster oven. This is completely unacceptable, mm. uh, and 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 I don't like this ship because the oven is small and the burners are electric and not induction. <laughs> and, and, and there is no way I can cook on this, and and, and no, is bad. So I'm cycling the warp engines, checking the frequencies they can run at, mm -hmm. and I've got this big old smile on my face because I know I can I can squeeze some extra speed out of this. Remy, if if this is what you're appraising for fifty million, and I'm sure. I mean, I the, the the weapons alone are worth a shit ton. You guys are gonna find a, a vessel this this uh, this capable. I'm gonna check if the yeah. ammo's stocked as well while I'm here. Um, sure. Um, okay. So this uh takes it's it's got a it's got two missile launchers. Um, it is obvious that there are uh only two missiles in there. Can I uh? Uh, pull up the specs of the the weapons from the ship systems and give them a look over. Since I have the gunnery skill, I kind of want to evaluate if he's being honest with us. Like, are the weapons good and worth a bit? Uh, sure. Give me a gunnery check plus a uh, logistics check. Eleven. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, weapons actually cost, like, a fair amount on a ship. Um, mm. he says, well, the one thing that I do have to mention is that, uh, you, you, beyond the, the speed of this thing, uh, you really don't have, uh, a lot of, uh, well, uh, of shielding. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, I'm not a lot of shielding? This is de I definitely don't feel that this ship is worth... I got more to show to you if you want to look at some more. Well, I say let's, at that price, let's see what else you have, because I'm certainly not willing to part with $50 million. And I, As I'm running I off, like credits goes, should stretch a little further than what, uh, what you're showing us right now. Yeah. As I'm running off to engineering, you can hear me shouting, I want it! <laughs> oh, we're going to go look at another one. 100% this one! You'll think the same about the next one too, I'm sure. I hit, I hit the comms. 
<clears throat> Hello? This is engineering to Captain Felix. Are you receiving me over? Arthur, the kitchen You're is us a wet... <sighs> bad. I'm cycling the, water, the FTL drive again. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it would be locked the fuck down. Like, he does not have, like... <laughs> no, I'm not starting it. I'm just cycling it. Yeah, I mean, you could just cycle like through the system. Yeah, yeah, not, absolutely. Not yeah. Okay. Um, and he, uh, he says, all right, well, come on. I got I got a few more shifts to show you. And he let me know what you want to do. Uh, and he starts to walk you guys uh, off, the, off the venture. Um, and this is a good place to take our next break. Uh, we're going to take another five minute break the final one of the evening tonight and we'll find out uh, if our if our uh, crew here decides to become a crew of a new starship we'll find out guys stay tuned back in five minutes <laughs> <laughs> 